Hello everyone, my name is Roya and this is my fabulous cat iPod and today we will be reviewing Everything Sad is Untrue by Daniel Nyeri. This is about, uh, this is a, what would you call this exactly? An autobiographical novel maybe? Um, or a novelization of a true story? Because it's not really a memoir but it is actually uh, very much the true story of his life. Um, so basically this follows Daniel as he is um, a little kid um, leaving Iran and going to the US with his mother and his sister and basically the experiences from there, the cultural differences and everything that is kind of going wrong in his life. And it's very much told through the eyes of himself at whatever age he is at different parts of this story because it kind of flip-flops back and forth. It's not told in order. Um, it gives you the pieces of the story in a way that like, you know, you just gradually gain an understanding of what happened um, and what the pieces of the story are, kind of. Um, but it's also, at the same time, the tone is also uh, told from the point of view of his current self. So it's kind of hard to, I don't know, it's really, it's really interesting that way. I'm really not sure like how to describe this book. So a lot of the story happens as he is, you know, about 12 or so, um, talking to his classmates at kind of different times. Um, uh, it's not necessarily like all told in flashback and it's the same day or anything like that. It's just like different conversations he has with his classmates and his teacher about uh, kind of anything that describes this kind of stuff he went through as an, as an Iranian immigrant and leaving Iran, all of that. Um, and how they just completely don't get it. So there's like, for instance, this whole, um, this whole dialogue that takes place where he's trying to describe the way that an Iranian toilet works and everyone in his class just thinks it's really gross and they think like oh you don't have toilet paper what the hell and and they just think it's the, like the weirdest thing because they've never heard such a thing and then um and then he says well it's what they do in France too and then um and then it says and of course since everyone likes everyone likes France so no one said anything or something like that. So it's very much, uh, it deals a lot with the kind of perception of, uh, like people's perceptions of places like Iran, um, where people don't really know what things are about there. He starts talking about his life uh, as a story and embellishing the details like he says that his dad is a prince and stuff like that. Um, for instance, when really his dad didn't even come from Iran with them or anything. Um, and it's true, like he was, you know, in, in a way that's to him that is actually what he um, experienced because back in Iran when he was like five, um, his dad was a dentist and his mom was a doctor and they had money. Whereas like his life in the US, um, he's dirt poor, his mom is like married to this douchebag, basically. Um, and then another thing that I loved about this book too is the writing style. It's genius and not just in kind of the really good quotes that you get because you do get some great quotes in here about stuff like how when you are a refugee or from another country uh, another culture um you have to actually explain um more things than you would if uh, your story were not from a different culture to to who you're telling it to. Um, so then you end up with this like weird patchwork story because people are missing details. Um, whereas if you're like Iranian and you're reading an Iranian story, stuff you don't, you know, nobody has to explain what different things are that are just in that culture already. Um, that type of thing. So but also another way in that the writing style is genius is that it doesn't it doesn't always give you what happened like for instance it'll talk about how his stepdad is so good at karate that he used he uses his uppercut on single moms and like you don't need context to understand what it's talking about what happened there um it it doesn't need to you know the story doesn't need to spell out for you that his stepdad hit his mom so they split up or whatever like you already get that from that sentence. Um, so there's a lot of stuff like that in there where the writing style just does such a good job of telling you what happened without explaining it at all. And you don't have any, you know, you know exactly what happened still. It's like, it's really good that way. So the whole book 
is very intelligent and like really just like this is a classic in the making right here like I promise you this is so worth the read and it's so compelling and the whole thing is so genius the whole way through. So obviously I gave this book five stars and you should all read it. So anyway that's my review. Thank you guys so much for watching this um, video and I will see you very soon with a new one. Bye!